knucklehead, yeah. Well, we we gonna do something that might get us run out of town, Jim. Now now I can I cannot take credit for this one. Archie Campbell is the originator of this, but we we gonna we gonna try it here. So one Christmas time there was an old lady named Miss Finnegan, and she was coming here to Gatlinburg to visit some of her family. And even though it was bitterly cold, they were gonna go camping. And so Miss Finnegan was worried though about the bathroom at the campground. So she wrote a letter to the campground people asking about it, but she was too embarrassed to write bathroom or commode, so she just abbreviated it BC. So the people at the campground, when they got this letter, they were very confused. They had no idea what BC meant. Well, after some discussion, they decided that BC must mean Baptist Church. So the head of the campground wrote Miss Finnegan a letter, and this is what he said. He said, Dear Miss Finnegan, I'm glad to inform you that the BC is located just nine miles from the campground in the center of a grove of pines surrounded by beautiful scenery. It is capable of holding 360 people at one time. We meet there on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, and there's always a lot large crowd this time of year. I would advise you to be early, although there is plenty of standing room. This, however, is an uncomfortable position if you are in the habit of going regularly. Many people visit, pack their lunch, and make a day of it. Most travel by car, but some choose to walk and make it just in time. I advise you to go on Sunday evenings, as there's always an excellent organ accompaniment, and even the best sounds are audible. It may uh, please you to know that my sister was married in the B.C. I remember how the rush for seats were that day. There were 16 people in the seat I normally sit on. My father has not been there since he was very little. A wealthy resident of our town recently installed a bell that will ring whenever anyone enters. A fundraiser will be held soon and the proceeds are gonna to go towards the purchase of plush seats. My wife is rather delicate and cannot go regularly. In fact, it's been six months since she last went. Naturally, it pains her very much not to be able to go. I shall close this letter by telling you that I will help you in any way. If you like, I'll save you a seat next to me. Oh. <laughs>